In the Marvel Universe, Tony Stark is one of the smartest characters only surpassed by Doctor Doom and Reed Richards. Becoming as smart as Tony Stark is a goal that seems impossible. Tony Stark was already learning basic electronics and engineering from his father at the age of six. And at 17, he was graduating with a master's degree. As an adult, he has the skills and intellect to create something as advanced as an Iron Man suit, with a billion dollar fortune and resources to back it up. Achieving all these milestones is impossible, since he seems to defy the laws of physics and has superhuman productivity. But what about what is possible? Realistically, Tony would have a team helping him on his projects. This allows to fill the gaps in his knowledge, and on top of that, automation machines can increase his productivity. But let's find out what it takes to develop that kind of intellect. One trait that is necessary for someone to become skilled at something is passion. Otherwise, why would you spend time and energy on something you don't enjoy? Whether you already have passions or not, you can develop one with two simple steps. The first is curiosity. To become smart like Tony Stark, you should cultivate a sense of curiosity and a sense of wonder. Try to keep learning as part of your daily life. Keeping a childlike curiosity will help you by making you question things and also make you happier. Stay open to new ideas and possibilities. Keep challenging your assumptions and expanding your knowledge and understanding of the world. Becoming a lifelong learner will lead you much farther than if you stop learning after you finish school. The second step is mastery. This is having the knowledge and skills in a certain area of life. It gives a feeling of competence and confidence which comes from achieving a goal. People who achieve mastery in a certain area are more likely to continue learning and seek out new challenges. So discipline and setting realistic yet challenging goals are the key to mastery. Clearly, Tony Stark is a jack of all trades that seems to be a professional in every field he touches. This is called a polymath, and there have been a few in the real world, such as Leonardo da Vinci, Benjamin Franklin, and Nikola Tesla. To be a polymath, you need to be very curious and interested about multiple subjects. Polymaths are usually obsessive, and it's the motivator to spend all that time and energy on learning different subjects. Tony Stark seems to be more skilled in STEM subjects, but more specifically in the areas of math, physics, engineering, and computer science. So what would be the specific skills required to excel in those areas? The first thing to understand is that these skills are not innate and can be developed. So here are some skills to develop if you want to become a STEM polymath. One. As mentioned earlier, a deep curiosity about the world is required, but specifically a drive to learn from different domains. A polymath has to be interested in many different subjects. 2. The more you learn about how the world works, the more you can connect the dots. For example, mathematics comes up in almost all subjects. It's almost inescapable. So a strong foundation in mathematics is crucial for these fields of study. Three. You have to synthesize information from various disciplines and integrate them into a cohesive framework. The goal is to connect different ideas and different fields to develop a holistic understanding of the universe. This requires you to expand your horizons. 4. The only way you can improve your understanding of the universe is with lifelong learning. Whether it's reading books or taking online courses, at the end of the day you have to learn and synthesize what you've learned. Remembering it is useless. What's important is understanding how it works. You can immerse yourself in a subject and ask questions that lead you to a deeper understanding instead of trying to memorize it. 5. If you truly want to become a polymath, you need to be able to learn much faster than the average person. Polymaths can learn new concepts in different areas very fast. They have learned how to learn, which makes the process much more efficient and makes it easier to delve into new areas of study. Learning how to learn is one of the first skills a polymath would have to acquire. When it comes to actual cognitive abilities to be developed, there are certain abilities that Tony Stark would be considered to be exceptional. Tony is said to be a great multitasker. Therefore, he would need to have cognitive flexibility and an ability to switch focus from one task to another very quickly. This requires a flexible mind that can adapt to any situation. Along that, he would have efficient cognitive processing. 
This is the ability to process information with speed and precision. This would supercharge your learning and allow you to absorb data at a greater rate. The only way I know how to improve this is by increasing speed of incoming information. With these general cognitive skills out of the way, let's delve deeper into methods of thinking and reasoning. First is fluid reasoning. This is the ability to use deductive and inductive reasoning. So, deductive reasoning is the ability to draw conclusions from a given set of axioms. On the other hand, inductive reasoning is making generalizations based on patterns and observations. The difference between them is that deduction is starting from a given set of truths to find a logical conclusion, while induction is to find a conclusion by thinking in probability based on given information. So, to improve on both, you want to analyze thoughts and behaviors of both yourself and other people. This will sharpen your ability to observe people, make predictions, and increase your awareness. On top of that, if you're like me, you probably like to think of hypothetical scenarios in your head and try to predict how you would react or how other people you know would react in a certain situation. You should also think about what you should do in that specific situation. This is an excellent exercise since it uses both types of reasoning and allows you to see what mistakes you would make in that situation. Moving on to analytical thinking and quantitative reasoning, these two are problem-solving skills. Quantitative reasoning is essentially mathematical problem-solving. It means using reasoning with numbers and mathematical knowledge. But when it comes to analytical thinking, it's much more comprehensive. It's the skill of analyzing complex problems and breaking them down into their smaller components. Essentially, it's your ability to find the axioms and to use first principles thinking. You can also improve something called algorithmic thinking, which means to solve problems with an algorithm, breaking down the problem into small steps, then finding a pattern and designing an algorithm that can solve each step. This leads into logical and lateral thinking. These are very different methods of thinking. Logical thinking is to think with discipline and stay unbiased, whereas lateral thinking is the ability to come up with unconventional solutions and thinking outside the box. These methods are very different, but if you develop them both, you can find a solution to any problem you might face. Visual spatial processing is the ability to tell where objects are positioned in space. It deals with spatial perception, visualization, and mental rotation. Visualization is the easiest to improve. You can simply close your eyes and imagine something in detail. To improve spatial perception, you can practice navigation and try to visualize a 3D map of where you are. Trying to understand the distances, the shapes, and looking at that map from multiple different angles. Almost like a 3D software that shows an object, but doing it in your mind. The next step after that will be trying to create an exploded view of an object in your head. Creativity is to use your imagination, in other words, your mind's eye, and create something new and original. Tony Stark has high levels of creativity. He can think outside the box and make new connections and ideas. Generally, humans can't create something out of nothing. So creativity isn't thinking of something completely new. It's your ability to look at something and add to it, step by step, until you get something new and interesting. All you need is an inspiration and to exercise that creative skill. Tony Stark visualizes the technology he wants to create and deconstructs it into several tiny projects. The next step is to solve each problem one by one. Once he's done, he puts everything in its place like a puzzle and then he tests its limits. When it comes to learning, he breaks down subjects into their axioms, which allows him not just to know things, but know why they are one way instead of another. This can give insights about the universe. One thing is clear in this video. If you want to improve something, you have to do that thing. There is no miracle exercise that makes you smarter in every aspect. Except one. Make it a game and challenge yourself. If you do something and it becomes easier, make it more challenging by adding something to it. It could be speed, complexity, analysis. If you're calculating something, try mental calculation. 
If you're stuck in a boring social situation, observe people. Try to see what they're thinking and look at their body language. Whatever you're doing, it'll be less boring and you'll challenge yourself and become more capable. Before you know it, it'll become a habit and then you can push yourself even further. When Tony Stark was captured in Afghanistan, he built the first version of the miniaturized arc reactor and the Iron Man armor. That was a plan he made to get himself home safe. Another character in that same situation could have used different technology to escape. Or they could have escaped with stealth and combat skills. Another could have negotiated or manipulated his way out. The point being, everyone has different skills that make them who they are. And the goal isn't to become Tony Stark or anyone else, but learning from them in our quest to become better.